welcome to my channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do It Emma. If you want to hear for, and see what um, scripts I've got planned, go and get yourself comfortable if you haven't already and get your cuppa. Yeah. And I'll join you back in a moment. <laughs> you here i hope you're well hope you've been safe um and all that jazz september's here and in particular in edinburgh it, or just outside of edinburgh from where i am it is quite humid for being mid-september i know it's meant to be quite nice but it is quite humid hmm but i think skirts are Fabulous because they can be layered up. You can go bare legged. Woo uh, so before I get on, I am wearing my Gilbert top, and I was looking in the mirror, and I think I'm gonna have to do a uh, shoulder adjustment as for short shoulder. Um. So if anyone recommends a really easy tutorial for me to work this out, um. I might see if Helen's closet has one, but yeah, I feel like the shoulder should be here and not here. It is sitting lower down from what it should, and I just noticed that. So maybe the third version, I really should rectify that and work that out. So without further ado, let's get on to skirts. Yeah, skirts. Layering up, layering down, we wear them with tights, we wear them bare legged, we wear them with leggings. Yeah, we got it all. And I've got different length options, ones without buttons, one with zips, and a few different styles. So yeah, let's get cracking. Well, first up is the Megan Nielsen Brumley skirt, and I'll be sewing up the curved version which is the 14 to 30 and um, there is another version which is 0 to 20 and um, but I will be mentioning the um, measurements for this one and um, it goes from a waist of 32 and a hip of 42 for the 14 inches and it goes up to a size 30 which is a 48 waist and a 58 hip so that covers my measurements i'll probably be doing the size i would say the twi size 28 um i'm not quite sure about the length yet i will i was looking at version 2 which is midi um goes past the knees or I was thinking maybe version 3 which is the knee length I could go here and there but what I was thinking I was shopping my stash and I was like you know I've had this gorgeous um it's an X designer I think it's an Italian designer maybe Dolce Gabbana X uh, fabric it is absolutely gorgeous um, I forgot how unbelievably, I think it's a cotton lawn, um, how soft it is. And look at the colours, it's just absolutely amazing. I'm going to have to be careful of cutting this out because it is quite narrow as what I can remember. I think it's 135. Um, God, I've got a pin. Um, yeah, so... I'm thinking Megan Nielsen, um, the skirt does come with, version 1 comes with, is above the knee and includes pockets. Version 2 is midi length, includes pockets and additional fullness, which I quite like. And version 3 is a basic knee length gathered skirt. So I might do... 
version three with the pockets. Hmm. <laughs> it is a lovely gathered skirt and the pattern features an exposed zip at the back. So yeah, that's what I'm planning with Brumby. I've had this for ages and I really need to use it. Um, I saw this over in, oh, was it Sicily that we went to a couple of years ago? Sardinia. Sardinia. Yeah, I think it was Sardinia. Um, we went to Sardinia. We were on a cruise, like the Boaty Weekender. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, um, we sailed to Sardinia. Uh, and then we had a full day in Sardinia and then we went into this shop Um, it's not where I got the fabric I got this from Fabric Godmother but I spied the same fabric in a skirt and I was like that's so cool but um, it is an ex-designer Italian designer um, fabric so yeah can't wait to use this now that I've kind of got a plan. It's very exciting. Moving on, we've got another skirt, and if I already made one of these, it's the Nita skirt pattern. It's a wrap skirt. Um, it's quite stylish. It's got a really nice silhouette and a dramatic angle front. Now I've got a denim version that I made up, and this was part of her tester to retest the new sizes um, she made in I think last year I believe uh, let me it goes from a 0 to 32 now before I think it was only up to a 22 but now that she's extended the sizes oh brilliant I was thinking of using this linen viscose it's got cute little raspberries and I thought that's quite autumnal you get autumnal um, raspberries and I quite like that it's quite like almost like acorns or my seen things <laughs> but yeah I think this would make a nice little wrap skirt um, I've got two meters of this so it's more than enough and I'll probably do the longer length. Um, there's three. There's three. Um, there's three silhouettes. You've got the mini length with a button closure. View B is a midi length with a D ring belt closure, which I've tried. And view C is the maxi length. And that's got the tie closure. Now, for this fabric, I would reckon it would be better with a button closure or a tie closure. Um, I think the D ring might maybe a bit risky, but we're not quite sure. But that's the plan for the Nita. If I don't change my mind on that. Mm -hmm. skirt has been a long term plan and I don't know why I just don't get on and do it but it's the Estuary skirt by So Liberated it's a lovely skirt and I love the fact that she is um, working hard and extending the sizes for her back catalogue for her patterns the sizes for the Estuary skirt go from a zero to a size 30 and size zero is a waist of 25 and a hip of 33 and a half inches and it goes all the way up to a size 30 which is a 48 and a half waist and a 57 inch hip the s3 skirt is a lovely beginner pat friendly pattern apparently um, it's got an elasticated back which is quite a selling point um, for me just to give me that extra room but you can definitely get a button front 
placket which can be sewn with buttonholes or as a fox buttonhole free, free placket. Now, oh, I don't know. Um, so this makes a skirt for all skill levels, whether or not if you want this buttons. Um, so I was thinking, and I think I bought this specifically, it's quite nautical, and I can straight away see my creamy, ivory, um, Adrian blouse with this, the one that I wore on my last video. Yep, I'll put a card. You can go and be nosy if you want. But this is a lovely linen viscose, I believe. I got this quite a while ago. So this is what I'm thinking of for the yesterday skirt. I'm probably use white button, buttons or maybe even I've got some kitchen machine buttons, uh, shutting buttons in these. I think they would go quite okay with that. It might be a bit too much. I'm looking at it. Mm, maybe. Sort of a... Ooh. <laughs> Tough choices. For those in the know, I have done two Q dresses now. Um, well, the first one was the T dress um, version. And that was for the tester that I did mm, quite a while ago. I'll pop a picture in. Um, <laughs> just to show it off you know and then the second version I did for um, so recreate the look um, which I talked about in my last video which I'll pop a card up in, and I'll pop a photo in as well just to give you all you know all the information and the skirt has been niggling away the Q skirt is, I like it, um, it's a button up, um, it's a button up skirt and the skirt for all three versions features a flattering high low um, hem which dips at the back. All three options for this skirt has a front button fastening and are finished on the insides with facings so it would be quite easy to slip on and off um, so yeah I might even hack it with an elastic at the back I'm not quite sure how easy that would be but yes, the material, before I get on to the material, I'll keep you on suspense. The sizing um, I would be using would be the 16 to 28. However, it does come in like the standard version from 6 to 20. So you've got options there. But for the 16 to 28, it starts off with a hip of 30. A waist of 35 inches and a hip of 45 inches and it goes up to a 28 and that's a 47 inch waist and a 57 inch hip um, and I found that my ver my second version um, the one that I did for the soul recreate the look um, I found that a lot easier to wear not quite sure what I did still haven't worked out but I'm happy with it so yes um fabric you'll be asking fabric fabric what is the fabric this has been in my stash I'm seriously shopping my stash here um for the fabric requirements for version three I would say this is a 60 wide possibly so just under two meters that I would need 
of this beautiful it's definitely Lady McCoy now, I think. I think. But I've had this in moustache for ages. Navy blue and it's got cocktail. Um, yeah. I feel like using it now. It's been a precious fabric of I don't want to use this just in case I muck it up. But I think I've got enough um experience behind my belt to use this. And then I'll have about 37 30 centimetres maybe left, maybe even half a metre if I'm quite good with the pattern matching and um, Tetris. So yeah, this is what I'm thinking of. <sighs> I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Second last um, is the Pocket Skirt by Peppermint Magazine. You might remember that I've actually talked about this quite often because it just keeps coming up and I'm like, I need to do this, I need to do this. And this one might be the first one that I do because I've got a few fabrics in mind that I really want to use for this skirt. So Paper Magazine teamed up with Paper Theory and Tara designed this quite cool skirt. The measurements start from a waist of 24 inches and a hip of 34 inches for a size 6 and it goes up to a size 28. It's fairly inclusive could be a wee bit better but um it goes up to a size 28 and it's a 47 inch and a half inches for the waist and a hip is 57 and a half inches um the waist is quite relaxed it's got an elasticated back so there's room just to let it grow and I have seen it and it's just it looks so comfortable it just takes under two meters for my size so that's really good I've got lots of two meter um bits of fabric now I've had this um moustache for a wee while I'm going to take the bins out and um, it is a very nice I got this, I think I bought this from um, Fabric Fox and it's a um, Ruby Star Society cotton. It's lovely. Um, and I'm going to have to be very careful about when I'm, how I'm cutting it out because it is a border print. But I'm hoping to have the big border at the bottom. Oh, this is coming up on camera. <laughs> and use the smaller border on the other side as a waistband so yeah um, I'm hoping that works out I've got oh, two meters because it is quilt and cotton um, and it's slightly narrower than well it comes under quill and cotton with it isn't I mean I suppose you could use it for quilling but um, definitely yeah it's a Melody Miller fabric oh. and it's just oh, every time I look at it and go to it look at the colours oh. <laughs> can you tell and then and then this is great for autumn. It's this gorgeous double gauze. It's quite 70s maybe. But it's got lovely terracotta. Terracotta colours. So I'm like, <laughs> this is in my colour bag. Last but not least, you've seen this pattern. I've talked about it in the latest pattern release that I've done. 
and it's a sort of it's name skirt and it's pronounced N I M not not pronounced but it's spelled N I M E no N I E M H <laughs> Yeah you caught me and my brain just went <coughs> I'll just clear that up <laughs> So, the knees skirt comes in three different lengths. It's a brilliant transitional piece, especially for this weather that we're having. Um, oh, I like all three lengths. So I'm having a bit of a... What, what one will I go for? So I'm thinking maybe the midi length or the maxi length. Um, I don't know. I'm like, ooh, <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. But it's definitely, it's good for woven fabrics and apparently it's quite easy to make. Um, it does have a zip, so you have to be a wee bit more confident using a zip but if you've done a zip a couple of times you can bang out no problem in a couple of hours and um, it is a pretty gather skirt and it flows down from pointed v-shaped yoke to create a stylish close fitting silhouette around the hips simply simple simple Yet elegant <laughs> and timeless. I really shouldn't read out. I'm really crap. <laughs> I'm losing the world to live. Yeah. Um. So it should be the ultimate skirt or the ultimate skirt. Um. So yes, short, midi, and maxi. Um. Not hundred percent, but I might go for midi or maxi um it could be bro it's brilliant with boots pumps you know it so 16 6 to 20 and then 18 to 30. yep i've got that right <laughs> There and back and white Emma. Oh dear. Bear with me, folks. So it's really good for lightweight woven fabrics. And sizing for the knee skirt is an 18 has a waist of 38 inches and a hip of 48 inches. And a size 30 is a 50 inch waist, wait for it, mm. and a hip of 60 inches. So, and you'll also need a 9 inch concealed zip. But this is a fabric that I was thinking of. Do you like? Do you like? I can't. Where I got oh yes I remember it's material get a lot of that I got from it's a lovely viscose it's really soft and I'm thinking if I've got enough I think I got two maybe three meters of this I need to um, measure this but I would be able to get the midi version and the short version I think yeah version two and version three maybe the version one i've never used a silver pattern yet is that sin um <laughs> so i'm not quite sure if they are over estimating fabric for fabric requirements or they're quite precise. Do let me know if you tried a 
so over it pattern that's it and yeah stay safe happy sewing hope you enjoyed this love to hear your comments i love uh, a wee chit chat um in the comments below if you want to know anything just feel free to ask um yeah happy days take care love you bye